Okay, and hello everyone. And my name is Hong Wei Chen, and I'm from National Taiwan University, and we are Team CRT EAR E number twenty four, and we try to make a two stage end to end system for noisy reverberant hearing aid processing. And my colleague is the Chi Chang Li, Hong Wei Chen, and Hong Wei Chen is me, and Rong Zhao, and we are under the supervision of Yu Chao and Song Liu Liu. And I'm glad to introduce our work and the results to you, CRT EAR. Okay, then here I'm going to give a brief introduction about this challenge and the work is trying to do the speech enhancement for people with hearing aid and, uh, excuse me. And it is under the circumstance that this listener is in a room with maybe multiple noise, multiple interferes and with high rotation. Additionally, the hearing ads contains three microphones and one microphone contains two channel speech. So we should totally make a good use of this, maybe a six channel or seven channel signals. Therefore, the question for us are, how can we do the multi-channel enhancement with reverberant? The first question is this. And the second question is, how can we enhance the noisy speech for people with different hearing loss? And we try to get a better hospital score for the people with hearing aid for the people with different hearing loss. And so here is our methodology. And I introduced the methodology of our work here is the four trial of work. And we can simply split it into two stages. First, you can see in the left figure, uh, in the left uh, in the left hand side for speech enhancement, we aim to reduce the corruption made by noisy reverberant environments and thus transform the low quality signal into clean ones. Next, for hearing loss compensation, we post process the prediction results based on the first stage. And to, read, to enrich the perception of the serving listeners with particular hearing loss, by inputting the audiograms as conditional features, we design an auditory correction. We call it the AC algorithm to amplify the listener. To amplify the listener's specific frequency beams. Yes. And let's go into the first part of our, our system, the first stage, head rotation aware speech enhancement. And just as the left figure, we have two modules to build this stage, um, which are the SE module and the head rotation layer. For the SE module, and we focus on developing a denoising module to suppress interference from both noise or speech source made by the reflection. And we choose the work successive downsampling and resampling of multi-resolution features. We call this to do R and RF. And the right-hand one is the right-hand one. We choose, this, we choose it as the our architecture. It is based on an encoder separator decoder framework and we can directly process inputs in the time domain. And in addition, we construct an external 1D convolution layer to process the head rotation feature. And the six channel, the six channel signals uh, will be concatenated with the head rotation feature to fed into the external layers and then respectively add the output to the hidden maps in the front and middle labels of the main SE module. And the objective function we select in stage one is the signal to noise ratio as an alert. Since we think that the magnitude of the signals will hugely affect the measurement of Hosby scores. And to preserve the consistency of the signal level information and the negative value of SNR is preferable choice for us. And the second stage, we propose an auditory correction AC algorithm as a post-processing method. Um, based on the each given audiogram, the specific hearing loss pattern. And the AC algorithm is designed to compensate for hearing loss by amplifying specific amplitude spectra through a gamma correlation. Gamma correction is further boosting the enhanced speech signals. And first, and we take the magnitude as a feature by short-term fully transform STFT and then they the, denotes the X. The, then we design the whole amplifying process as equation one. And where Y denotes the, mod, um, the modified magnitude and the A and gamma are the scaling function and the gamma value 
and the detail of these two values are as the equation two and equation three. And finally, to prevent the value of y from exceeding the signal range, and we apply the hard tangent function as a clipping function. After doing the inverse short time Fourier transform, we can get a modified speech with hearing loss compensation. And when we talk about our experiment, we can divide our experiment into four parts. And the first part is we train our main SE module with the original same data. And the next one, we first the main SE module in the first stage and externally change the head rotation layer with the original same data. And third, we join uh, we join chain the first stage main SE module and the second stage external head rotation layer with the combination of original and extended same data. And the extended same data we are uh, we made from the official missing tool. We just put we just build a, another room and use some interfere and use some different clean space to combine and to mix to another external thing data. And finally, we conduct the AC post processing to compensate the hearing loss for different listeners with hearing aid. And by setting up the experiment, and we can firstly compare different SE model for our SE module. And as the table shows, you can see that BS BSLN is the official official baseline system. And the CTASN it represents the convolutional test net model and chain with the original sync data. And SUDO represents the sudo RMRF, sudo RMRF net is our net. And it's our architecture model to chain with the original sync data. These three are both chain train with the original thing data. So we can see easily find the fact that the sudo performs better than, performs the best in this three model. And therefore we choose to do as the architecture of our main SE module and accordingly combine it with another state. And about the evolution study, the table shows that the Hospi score with respect to different setups the post the post fix term denotes the corresponding setup. The dash HR represents uh, we take we take the head rotation feature and combine the SE module with the external head rotation layer. And dash EXT represents the we train our model with combinational of original and external thing data. And dash AC represents the post processing the denoising result by the SE algorithm. As we can see in the left table, um, all the additional set, all the additional setup can bring improvement. In particular, extending training data achieve a difference of 0.0389, representing that expanding the amounts of data can effectively reduce the overfitting effect. On the other hand, the head rotation feature is highly related to the special relationship of the recording environment which is critical information and the stably raise the hospital score. Eventually, the post-processing successfully reduced the degradation of hospital from the hearing loss effect. And to sum up, it is clear that the integration in our system can obviously increase the hospital score. And let me make a brief conclusion about our work. In our work, we provide a two-stage system to make a great improvement on hospital score for people with hearing aid. Uh, we used to do our RFNA to as our enhancement module and add head rotation as additional feature. And after that, we conduct post-processing by AC algorithm. And to sum up, our system notably brings better perception under hearing loss situations. And here is our report about this trend. Thanks for all your listening. Thank you very much, Hong Wei. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, while we have a, have a good few time for questions, I'll wait for some to come in. Um, I'll ask my two questions, if I may. What did you find most challenging? And of your your implementations, what are you most proud of? OK, we think the most challenging is about the, how to evaluate the HOSP HOSP situation, because we are people with not, uh, without the hearing aid and without the hearing loss. So we cannot actually eva evaluate the result is good for the 
for what kind of audio game. So we just try different module and try different way to try to simulate the hearing loss, try to simulate the audio games type. Yes. Mm 